Today we're going to be looking at using that simple interest formula which we looked at last lesson to draw a graph. So here's my first example. I've got Isabella invests $20,000 in an account that earns 6% per annum interest. Construct a graph that shows a simple interest earned for n years from the values of 0 to 8. So what this is saying to me is I'm going to use my simple interest formula, I equals PRN. My principal I have is $20,000. I'm going to multiply it by my interest rate, which is 6%, which is 6 over 100. And I'm going to multiply that by N. Now, if I was to work out just this first part on my calculator, $20,000 times 6 over 100, my calculator gives me 1,200 N. And now I'm going to be replacing this N with all of these numbers and I'm going to fill in a table. And this is exactly how we normally would draw a graph, by filling in a table of values. So when N is zero for zero years, 1,200 times zero is zero. When N is one, 1,200 times one is 1,200 and so on and so on. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause video and come back and have a look at it once you have filled in the table of values. And as you can see, I've now filled in that table of values. As you can see, I've filled in this table of values. And what I'm going to do with this table of values is I'm now going to graph it. Now on a normal graph, this line here is my X and the other one is my Y. And in this case, my X is now called N and my Y is now called I. So I'm going to draw that information on this grid paper. So if you can have a look at it, I'm going to have zero and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is a number of years. So you should always label your axes so you know what's going on. That was your N. And then this next one, I'm going to go up in lots of 1,000. So 1,000, 2,000, and so on. And I should label this side as well. I'm going to call that interest. And I'm going to label it I. And now all I'm simply going to do is I'm now going to graph this. So it might be a good idea for you now to pause it and have a go at graphing it yourself first up. So your graph should look something like mine, although yours is probably going to look a lot neater. Now I just have a couple of questions. So once you've drawn that, you do need to use a ruler to draw your straight line. And what I'm now going to do is answer a couple of questions. So my couple of questions are, use a graph to estimate the simple interest earned after four and a half years. So what you need to do is you need to go along the bottom until we get to four and a half years, which is halfway between these boxes here. Let me see if I can get another colour pen up here. And you're going to use a ruler. So in the HSC, they're going to expect you to use a ruler and to show how you got your information. So using a ruler, we're going to draw a dotted line up until we hit our graph. And then we're going to draw a line coming across here and we're going to read off what that says. Now yours is going to look a lot better than mine, but it's approximately $5,200 worth of interest. And then I'm going to do the whole thing to say when $8,000 in interest will be earned. So I'm going to go up to my interest side of the table now, that's this side, and I'm going to go up to $8,000, and I'm going to draw another dotted line with a ruler out to meet my graph. And I'm going to come down and read this off. And I think it's something like 6.6 .6 years. And that's all there is to do with Simple Interest Graph. Thanks for watching.